Welcome to this week's what's for dinner video. My name is Ashley. I'm going to be showing you three different meals I made this past week. I don't always follow recipes exactly, but if you're interested, I've linked some similar recipes down below. The first dinner I'm going to be showing you, I made some chicken tostadas. So first I'm starting out with my Mexican rice just to get this all cooked up. So I'm just going to toast one cup of white rice and a little bit of oil and then I'm going to add in my seasonings. I'm adding one teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of cumin. So I'm just going to stir that around, let that become nice and fragrant, and then I'm going to add in my tomato sauce. So I have about half a can of an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, maybe a little bit more. I'm just going to mix that into the rice. So next I'm going to add in my liquid. So I'm going to add two cups of water to this because I used one cup of white rice. Next I'm going to add in a teaspoon of chicken bouillon and a teaspoon of tomato bouillon. So I'm just going to mix that all in and bring that up to a simmer. That way I can get the rice cooking and then I'll put a lid on it and turn the heat down. So next I'm going to work on the chicken. I just cooked up a couple chicken breasts in my instant pot and shredded them up. Next I'm just going to add them to this pan. I added in a little bit of water and I'm just going to add my Mexican seasonings, cumin, onion powder, garlic salt, chicken bouillon, taco seasoning. Adding liquid will just help create a nice little sauce, but also shredded chicken does absorb liquid, so it'll make it nice and soft. So of course the chicken doesn't look seasoned enough for me, so I'm gonna add a little bit more taco seasoning. So at this point, I do have my pan set to about medium high. That way I can get the liquid nice and hot. At this point, you can definitely taste test and add whatever else you think is needed. Adding some fresh squeezed lime juice was definitely a game changer. So once the chicken was done, it was time to assemble the tostadas. You can buy pre-made tostada shells, but I personally think frying your own is so much better. So I just fry up some regular corn tortillas until they're nice and brown. You can also control how hard you want your shells. If you want to make more soft tacos, you can kind of just fry them until they're light and golden, and then you can still fold them, but I like mine nice and crispy. I will say you have to watch them as you're cooking because they can easily burn if you have it on like medium high. This one definitely got a little crispy, but it's totally fine. This is how everything looked when it was done. I just topped them with some lettuce, queso fresco, and then some salsa afterwards. This is so good, and I truly like look forward to making this again. The next dinner I'm gonna be showing you, I just made some beef and shells. I wouldn't really call it a soup, but also not just a pasta. So I'm just starting out with my ground beef. I have about a pound of ground beef that I'm still working on defrosting slightly. I'm just going to cook that up until it is nice and brown. You can definitely tell the middle of it was still frozen because that's a lot of liquid coming out. So 
so once the meat was done I just drained the excess grease and a liquid and then used a paper towel to kind of get the rest of it Next, I'm going to work on seasoning the ground beef. So I'm just going to use some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and just mix that around. Next, I'm going to add in some Italian seasoning. You'll always need Italian seasoning and some Cajun seasoning. Once that was all mixed around, I'm going to add in my tomato sauce. So I'm going to add two cans of tomato sauce. This is just an eight ounce can. I always love making these ground beef recipes because I totally just wing it. I just do whatever I want, add however much of anything that I want. Just going to add a little bit of water and some bouillon to help thin out the sauce. Next, I'm going to add in some dried parsley flakes just to give it a little bit more color. I put a lid on this and let it simmer for about 30 minutes on low. Once that was done, I took the lid off and added in a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Next, I decided to add in some cheddar cheese just to make this a little cheesy. I just added what I had left of the cheese. I don't know if you would call this like a stew, but it is just a nice fall comfort meal. I just cooked up about half a box of some shells and just drained them and I'm just going to add them to the sauce. I guess it's kind of like a thick stew or soup like this would obviously run everywhere if you put it on a plate this is how everything looked when it was done I just served it with a slice of garlic bread and some broccoli so the last dinner I'm gonna be showing you I just needed something really quick so I just made some Italian crusted chicken and a pasta side I'm just starting out with my chicken breast. I just defrosted one chicken breast. And next I'm just going to butterfly this in half to make two even pieces. And this is my first time using my mallet and this is life changing. I'm just going to lightly season both sides with some Cajun seasoning because the Italian breadcrumbs definitely has seasoning in it. Next, I'm going to coat the chicken. So I'm just going to do the egg wash into the Italian breadcrumbs method. And I'm going to do that for both chicken breasts. Me and my husband both like really thin pieces of chicken. Before I fry up the chicken, I'm just going to work on the pasta side. I'm just going to follow the directions on the box. I'm just going to use a pasta roni, melt a little bit of butter, add some water, and add some milk. Even though I use these every once in a while, I definitely like to have stuff like this on hand. It's just funny because whenever I make my own pasta, I wing everything, do not follow a single direction. But these box ones, I'm like, what am I doing? How much of what? So 
So this is just pretty much self-explanatory and then once this is set and ready to go, I will make the chicken. Next, I'm going to get my pan all prepped to cook up the chicken. I just melted a little bit of butter and added in some oil. I'm just gonna put my pan on medium heat and add in my chicken breast. I'm just going to cook my chicken breast until it is nice and brown on the one side and then I will flip it. These also are really thin chicken breasts so these will cook quickly. I'm just going to do the same thing for the other chicken breast and flip it when it's nice and brown. This is how everything looked when it was done. Just a nice, quick, but delicious dinner. Thank you so much for watching this week's What's for Dinner video. Make sure you come back next week for another one.